the next section is the properties of nano materials we have to discuss about around six properties of nano materials physical properties chemical properties electrical magnetic optical and mechanical properties now the first category physical properties actually what is physical properties um, it is actually the properties that can be measured measurable quantities are known as physical properties for example mass temperature melting point boiling point etc these quantities can be measured such type of properties are known as physical properties in this section uh, we know that the surface to volume ratio of uh, nanomaterials are very high so that the surface pressure will be also high in the case of a uh, nanomaterial um, as the size is very small the interatomic spacing will be very small in the case of nanoparticles so as the size of the atom decreases interatomic spacing that is the space between the atoms also decreases so the relation is like this if you are plotting a graph um, taking size of the material on x axis and the interatomic spacing on y axis uh, the graph will be like this as the size of the material decreases interatomic spacing also decreases then what will happen to the melting point um, if the interatomic space or interatomic distance decreases it is a fact that as the distance between interatomic inter distance or the distance between atoms decreases melting point also decreases so it is actually the melting point of bulk material uh, for a bulk material large material um, the melting point is independent of interatomic distance but in the case of nanomaterial when the bulk material is converted into a nanomaterial the melting point decreases as the size decreases or as the interatomic spacing decreases so this is the uh, relation between melting point and the interatomic spacing this is about the physical properties now the second one chemical properties chemical properties dealing with the chemical reactions related with the nanomaterial actually it is very highly reactive relate sorry highly reactive compared to that of the other materials nanomaterials are highly reactive that is the first point and the second point is nano sized particles are very useful in hydrogen storage devices they can absorb hydrogen um, in a large number than any other bulk material for example if you are taking the nano material of nickel uh, palladium and platinum it can absorb eight hydrogen atom whereas the normal ratio is one if you are taking a bulk material of nickel it will absorb only one hydrogen atom but in the case of a nano material of nickel it can absorb eight hydrogen atoms so these are the chemical properties first one is it is highly reactive and second one is it can be used in hydrogen storage devices now the third property uh, dealing with electrical properties electrical properties means uh, dealing with electricity uh, resistance conductivity etc for nanomaterials we have uh, already discussed about conductivity it is a multiple of 2e square by h actually in the case of a nanomaterial uh, the conductivity increases with decrease in particle size as the size decreases conductivity increases but in the case of a metal it decreases so this is about the electrical property of nanomaterial now the magnetic properties in this section um, how it perform uh, to a magnet magnetic properties dealing with if you are considering uh, sodium potassium rhodium if you are taking this as a bulk solid they are paramagnetic we know that sodium potassium etc are paramagnetic paramagnetic means they are repelled by the magnetic field but in the case of a nanomaterial if you are taking the nanomaterial of sodium potassium rhodium etc they are ferromagnetic they will be attracted by the magnetic field so if you are, we know that iron copper nickel etc are ferromagnetic they are attracted by the magnet but if we, if they are converted into nanometer they are super paramagnet similarly uh, gd and terbium so uh, we can conclude that nanometer is entirely different from that of a bulk material it's now the next point is related with the coordination number and magnetic moment 
as the coordination number decreases magnetic moment or magnetic strength increases coordination number it is simply the number of nearest atoms that are in contact with an atom atoms that are in contact with an atom is known as coordination number in the case of a nanomaterial material coordination number is very small so uh, as the coordination number decreases magnetic moment or magnetic strength increases so the gra graph will be like this here we are plotting coordination number and here we are plotting magnetic moment graph will be like this as the coordination number decreases in the case of nanomaterial the coordination number is very small the magnetic moment will be very high so nanomaterials are more magnetic than the other material so this is about magnetic properties now dealing with optical properties actually optical properties they are actually deal with the properties related to light so depending upon the particle size same substance can show different colors for example if you are taking a nanomaterial of gold of 100 nanometer gold nanosphere of 100 nanometer it will be orange in color while a gold nanosphere of 50 nanometer will be green in color so actually we are taking the same material gold material but the size is different if it is 100 nanometer it will be orange in color if it is 50 nanometer it will be green in color so depending upon the size different colors can be shown by uh, same nanomaterial similarly uh, we can vary the size of the nanomaterial so that it can emit or absorb specific wavelength of light depending upon its size. Uh, uh, there is an example given that is tungstic oxide gel it can be used for electronic display devices. So this is about the optical properties same material can show different colors depending upon the size and depending upon the size um, material can absorb or emit uh, specific wavelength of light and the last property is mechanical properties so what is mechanical properties mechanical properties means how the material performs with different forces how the material um, respond to different forces if you are applying a force to the nanometer how will be its reaction so actually it is very um, stronger than any other material nanomaterials are very strong than any other material for example if you are taking a nano crystalline nickel it is as strong as a hardened steel so uh, even though the size is very small it is very strong than any other bulk material because of nano size uh, the mechanical properties uh, like hardness elastic modulus etc can be modified so this is about the mechanical properties dealing with the strength elastic modulus hardness etc uh, these properties are very different for a nanoparticle uh, when compared to the bulk material so these are the different properties physical properties we have we have just discussed about physical properties chemical properties in the case of physical properties uh, we have discussed about interatomic spacing as well as melting point and in chemical properties we have discussed about reactivity and the hydrogen storage capacity of nanoparticles and electrical properties um, how its um, conductivity uh, increases with the decrease in particle size and the magnetic properties um, how the material can change into ferromagnetic from paramagnet para paramagnetic from uh, ferromagnet etc similarly what about the magnetic moment in the case of optical properties uh, what will be the color of uh, same material uh, they can emit or absorb different wavelength of light etc that's about optical properties in the case of mechanical properties it deals with uh, strength hardness elastic modulus etc of nanoparticles